If you're married, newly married, engaged, or trusting God for marriage, stop. Let's pray together. Today, we're going to be praying and standing in faith that our marriages will not be victims to generational curses. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, today we speak to the foundations that were made before our time. Foundations made by our forefathers, many of which we are unaware of. We speak to ancient covenants made with our family names. We speak to demonic pacts made with our family name by those that came before us. Father, we speak to satanic bonds made with our family name as surety. Bonds which are holding our siblings and our marriages hostage. We speak to altars erected by our forefathers. Altars that have our names on them and that are crying out for blood or sacrifice in the form of our marital bliss. We speak to demonic treaties that were signed before us whose terms and conditions are now fighting against our marriages. We speak to demonic contracts which perpetuate misfortune in our marriages. Contracts which are currently sponsoring divorce and disadvantage in our marital homes. Father, we're crying out for mercy over our marriages today. We speak to every ill word uttered and declared over our marriages. Declarations made by those that hate us, declarations made by friends, declarations made by family members, declarations made by people we don't even know. Today we are speaking to forces that are higher than us, forces that work on a daily basis against our marriages in the spirit realm. We speak to any maneuverings of the enemy in our marriage. We speak to evil entanglements our forefathers found themselves in, voluntarily or involuntarily. Unfortunate things they stepped into. It could have been in ignorance. It could have been because they didn't know better. It could have been because they were deceived. Outers crying out against our marriages. Today we speak against you. We speak to demonic cycles that fought our grandfathers, that fought our fathers, that are currently fighting us and will fight our children if we do not stand our ground. Father, today we have come to speak to every demonically orchestrated assignment from the pits of hell contending against our marriages. Things designed to destroy our marriages. Things sponsored to architect frustration in our marriages. Things that are meant to cause us tears and pain in our union. Right now, there could be a couple that's connected that is struggling with strange things they cannot even explain. Let the blood of Jesus reverse and revoke every arrow that has been sent to destroy their marriage. Father, we speak in authority today against any curses that are sponsoring domestic violence, curses sponsoring unfaithfulness, polygamy, adultery, curses that are sponsoring the rise of illegitimate children outside of their marriage, curses that are sponsoring incest, altars that are fed by the tears and the pain of people in marriages. We speak to the curse of premature spousal death. We speak to demonic quarrels and financial frustrations. We speak to the curse of strange diseases in marriages. We speak to the curse of lack of contentment in marriages demonic generational cycles plaguing these families. Today we speak judgment over them in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, if there be any family represented on this prayer struggling under the heavy weight of marital frustrations, Father, let your mercy locate them today in the name of Jesus. We announce in the realms of the Spirit today that the set day of salvation and deliverance is now. We invite the anointing that breaks the yoke of bondage into this marriage. Rip off every chain holding this marriage captive. I pray today that let the blood of Jesus rub off every handwriting of wickedness written against this family. Silence every voice of the accuser that continues to chant misfortune and disadvantage into this marriage. We frustrate every plan of the enemy by the blood of Jesus. Father, revoke any ill word spoken against this marriage. Cancel any evil agenda concerning this family in the name of Jesus. Agendas over their children, agendas over their spouse, agendas over the peace in their home. 
we plead with you today may the sins of the forefathers not become the sins of the sons forgive the iniquities and the transgressions of our family things we don't even know about but things that we're experiencing consequences of cleanse us from all sin and guilt connected to our bloodline and lineages redeem us from all generational curses spoken over our families and jesus by your stripes let us experience healing and wholeness we send this prayer prophetically into the future for every single person connected may the lord begin to deal with every outer that could have caused them disadvantage in their soon to come marriages may the lord make their crooked path straight may the lord break every shackle that was waiting to manifest in their marriages in jesus mighty and wonderful name we pray amen and amen now if you watch this till the end type amen in agreement in the comment section share this or tag someone you love and you know needs it save it for later use and i'll see you again tomorrow for our next prayer in this 21 day challenge god bless you